Today we're going to take a look at this CH3530 and we're going to figure out whether or not this is my new favorite CH knife. So come on, I'll show you. Hey, how you doing? My name is Jay. If this is your first time here, hey, welcome to the channel. And now consider clicking on that subscribe. If you're looking for knife reviews, they get right to the point. Right now you should be looking at some specs. These are measurements that I did uh, take myself, but I'll also put them down in the description below because I know some of you like to refer back. And let's quickly take care of the size comparison so you can get an idea of the size of the knife that we're working with today. And we're gonna start out with a couple of griptilians. Now how about a couple of couple of rats, the one and the two? Then we'll finish up this section with the uh, couple spider codes, the PM2 and pair of three. Now a very important uh, design feature for me is multiple deployment options. Uh, you know, like a flipper and thumb studs like you see here on this Sanren Mu, or even like a flipper and thumb hole like on the Civivi Shredder or even on this uh, Spyderco Domino. It's so important that I'll go ahead and add like a second deployment method myself, like I did here, you can see on the Best Tech Bison and also on the uh, Ferrum Forge on the Mordax. I mean, you know, as long as it doesn't make the knife look too stupid, I know opinions are gonna vary on that one. And I'll be sure to put a, uh, I'll put a link down in the description uh, to this quick thumb stud. I just really like having the option to to either go ahead and you know slow roll it or to spidey flick that blade open especially I mean think about it what what if you need to use the knife discreetly you don't want to draw a bunch of attention like just flipping it open and yes I know I know I can always just go ahead you know and and, and pinch and pull the blade open but sometimes that can be kind of you know, difficult for me because of, you know, because of my disability. I mean, I got a, I got a bum hoof over here. That's why like, you know, one handed operation is just so important to me. So when I saw this CH3530 on, on Amazon and that it had a flipper and, and thumb hole, you know, I just, I decided to go ahead and uh, buy it, take the leap of faith since I knew nothing about this knife. And man, I gotta tell you, I am so glad I did. Not only does this have the two deployment options, but it has a, look at that, yep, that is a usable, usable forward finger choil. And also notice, now do you notice where, where, they, where they put it? Most of that, the choil, the cutout for it, is gonna be, you know, before in front of that, that plunge grind, unlike the Ferrum Forge, Dow here where you can see you have a forward choil but it's at the expense of losing a, a decent amount of sharpened edge now to be fair i did I, I did make this choil a little bit bigger with my uh with my dremel because well you know i'm me and i just can't leave well enough alone and the action here the action it's top notch i mean it is very good now I can, I can pretty much, you know, fail the deployment whenever I want, but the detent, it is, it's strong enough where you see I got it upside down. Yeah, I am I'm unable to uh, shake that blade loose. Closing the knife. Oh yeah, it's just as good. Did you see that? I mean, it is, it was dropping shut right out of the box and that's going to be you know mainly because of the uh the ball bearing pivot that the blade is riding on and how about that centering well you can look for yourself yep that is uh that's perfect and then this the liner now at least on my example uh, what do you think that liner is locking up at about 20 percent at 4.75 inches in length the uh, the G10 handle, oh yeah, it is definitely plenty long enough for my medium-sized hands. I mean, even more. Look at this. Even more when I when I choke up on it. So, those of you big handers out there, you'll be good here. If you stare down the sights, you can see that yeah, the scales they do have 
just like a very slight kind of contoured shape going on here. To be honest now, I don't own a lot of CH knives, so I'm not sure if this, if this is typical, but I was really surprised to see that the pivot and those body screws, yeah, they're all T8s. The clip screw though, that's still uh, gonna be T6s. And speaking of that, that clip, I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's nothing special. I mean, it's just gonna be stamped steel. And no, it's not a, it's not like a true, a true deep carry, but for me, it's, it's not bad. Unfortunately though, yeah, no, no lefty love this time. And I also, I really like how, notice how the widest point, so when it's in the pocket, it's gonna be at the bottom where it should be. Obviously there is, yeah, there's a, there's some skeletonization uh, going on, which should help with the weight. And, oh yeah, it does. Four ounces, that's not bad. That's gonna be about, what, one, two, three, four, five. That's like about five AA batteries, or, oh, look at that, almost the same weight as the full-size uh, Griptilian. All right, we got the cardboard out, so yeah, it's, uh, it's party time. Let's see how well that this uh, 3.4 millimeter thick blade, let's see how well it cuts. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Holy cow. Well, I'll let that speak for itself. Now after that cutting performance, I gotta check the behind the edge thickness. And man, I wish they made left-handed calipers. But you can see, sorry, it's upside down. And what does that say? Zero point, no, zero one six? You see that? Hold on. Wow, yeah, that's pretty darn good. Unfortunately, it's not all uh, you know, sunshine and rainbows uh, with this knife. I mean, there's, there's a couple things that I don't care for, like, well, the fit and finish. I mean, it's, it's a $30 knife and you, you really, in some areas, oh, you can tell. The scales, they just kind of look like that they're, uh, I don't know, like that they're unfinished. It's almost as if like the, the chamfering machine, so the day that this was made, that that chamfering machine was, was broken. Interestingly enough though, the, like the edges of like all of the liners and the, like the very, the top of the thumb hole. Oh, and the holes here on the, uh, on the show side. Yeah, none of those, they're not sharp. They're actually chamfered. So I guess, I mean, you know, taking all that into consideration, I guess that the, the boxy kind of cut of this handle was intentional. I mean, because why, why chamfer some parts and then not the rest? I know those of you that like that want the scales symmetrical, you know, you're not gonna like that the holes are only appearing on, on one side. And it, I mean, it's not a huge deal for me, but I do get it. I mean, why not have both scales the same but from a like a functional perspective, I do like that these these holes they help with grip. Uh, considering the G10 on this uh, on the clip side, oh yeah, it's uh, it's pretty smooth. Now that I'm looking at this, you know what? I might even I might even consider making some making some scales for this because I've got I got this uh, carbon fiber material that I am just dying to use on on something. So what I'll do is I want to put, I'll put a pole up there in the corner. And then if you click on that and just let me know by, you know, you'll hit yes or no, whether or not, if you would like to see that modification. I mean, if there's, if I get, if the majority of the responses are yeses, then I'll make a, a, a video showing the entire mod. I can confidently go ahead and answer uh, that question as to whether or not the 3530 is my new favorite CH knife. Uh, yeah, I would say, I would say yes, it is. And at $30, I mean, if you can, use the link down below to Amazon and go and pick one up today. If you enjoyed this video and you got like 
any value from it. Do me a favor and let me know by leaving one of these. And don't forget to click on subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Hey, you guys, take care. I'll see you later.